Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh ooh. I said cognac, ooh ooh ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. Don't look at me. Hello, darlings. Welcome back. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and we are here at Gizzy's. And I'm here with this gorgeous brunette. Introduce yourself to the camera, darling. I'm Nicole Cimino. Tell my audience why you're here. You are a, an entertainer, obviously. Yes, I'm an actress. You're an actress. Yeah. Tell my audience about your latest project and why you're here tonight. Okay. Um, me and other two Italian actors, uh, Luca Manganaro and Ilaria Mrodi, we are preparing this show. Uh, we're coming up at the end of March, beginning of April. Yeah. And uh, the title is Once Upon a Time in Rome. So it will be a show about the... the end of the Second World War in Italy, so we'll be, you know, like a show about that kind of um, period, and we will play three stars of that time, me and we're going to play Anna Magnani, that's going to oh be, Oh my know. God, I remember her, she was such a fabulous actress, yeah. Anna Magnani, yeah. oh my God. Her. And Ilaria is going to play Sofia Loren, yeah. and Luca is going to play Vittorio De Sica. Where did you come up with the idea to portray Anna Magnano? Um, How did this all come about? Uh, first of all, she's my inspiration as an actress. She's my favorite Italian actress. And my acting coach, that is Susan Batson, who is the coach of Nicole Kidman, you know, a lot of stars here. And she decided to ask me, you know, do you want to play Anna Magnani? And I say, oh, God, yeah. So She was some actress, Anna yeah. seeing a few of these movies with Anthony Quinn. She was, I remember one particular movie that she made with Anthony Quinn. The Secret of Santa Victoria. Yes, The Secret of Santa Victoria. But I also remember the one that, I forget the name of the film, but he brought it to the one she won the Oscar, maybe. She, he brought it to this country. She was his wife, and she had an affair with one of his workers. Ah, yeah, the one, yeah, the one with George Cukor, by directed by George Cukor. English, but Wild is the Wind, maybe? Yes, that's yeah. the one. That's yeah. the one. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, that yeah. was such a fabulous yeah. movie. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Did you watch a lot of her movies to yeah, capture? Yeah, I her all of her movies. Just actually. to capture her personal, her, her style of acting and everything, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And, like, I am... She was, like, the kind of actress that, like, start with the theater stuff and then she... She was discovering movies late, you know, in late age, like she was 35, 36. Because they didn't believe that she was good for movies, you know? Because she was like a kind of look that it was not the kind of... She sort of was, I would think she was sort of the Sarah Bernhardt of the Italian film. Yeah. Right? Yeah, she was. Uh, and also you know, she had you know who Sarah Bernhardt is? I know Sarah Bernhardt, yeah. That's exactly who she reminded yeah. me, Sarah of the Italian film. Wow. That's yeah. what, good, what an amazing actress she was. Yeah. Now, do you know a little bit more about the history of this actress? Do you know what happened to her? To Anna Magnani, you mean? Anna Magnani, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, she has, like, a, a, a very difficult life. She was has been always fighting and... and a lot of conflict. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like in uh, personal lives and she has this problem with like he has this amazing son Luca and he was stricken by polio when he was very very little when he was two years old and she has been fighting to have him healed you know and after 10 years you know keeping you know going to the 
clinic to the hospital in Switzerland, she could have a son walking again. So it was an amazing story that, and and she like unfortunately she died for pancreatic cancer when she was very very young. You know. In, How old was she when she passed away? She was so she was born in 1908, and she died in 1973. So it was like yeah, less 61. To, for today's standards, yeah, that's not, not really old. No. Interesting. She was a very, very fascinating actress. Yeah. But you're also very fascinating to take this part. I want you to tell my audience where we can the learn play. more. The play will be in the Oh, it's going to be in a play. Yeah, okay. we start with the play. And then from that, we are planning to create a, like a short movie about it. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to be at the end of March, the beginning of April, in Susan Batson Theatre, we start and then we plan to bring the show like out, you know, in some theatre here around because it's going to be fun. I love it, I love it. Do you have a face, do you have a website? Yes, I have a, a Tell website. my audience the website. Like, uh, like www.nicolchimino.com. And do you have a Facebook page? Yeah, there's always Nicole Chimino. Spell the whole name. Okay, N-I-C-O-L-E. C-I-M-I-N-O. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much. Let's toast. Let's have some champagne. Don't look at me. Welcome back. We're here at Gizzy's celebrating the Valentine's Filmmakers Party located at 16 West 8th Street. And I am here with this fabulous lady, young lady, Julia Amasano. And she did this wonderful CD teaching people how to sing. That's amazing. Julia, tell my audience about this CD. What involved in creating a CD about people singing and why did you want to do this? Um, I've had a lot of people come to me over the years and say, Julia, I would love to have a private voice lesson with you, but I don't live in Brooklyn, so what do I do? And so I made this DVD so you can see me teaching a student and then there's there are actually tracks that you can practice to. So all my students can use it to practice. It's called the Three Pillars of singing. Tell my audience again, Julia, what is it called? The Three Pillars of Singing. And that's because there are three main things you have to learn. In Tell, my audience. Tell my audience yeah. about that. So the first thing that you have to learn to do is breathe. You have to learn to breathe in your belly instead of in your chest. The second thing you have to learn to do is keep your air in when you're singing. You don't let it out, you keep it in. And the third thing you have to learn to do is to let go in the throat. So not use your throat muscles. It, this, this DVD shows you exactly what to do. It's really cool. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Okay. We're just little girls. We're just two little girls from Little Rock. We were born on the wrong side of the tracks. I'm going to stop you. Ready? Can I hold this? Yes. Because I want you to breathe. Okay. So instead of taking a tiny little breath in your shoulders, you're going to you're gonna breathe in your belly. So watch my belly. Ready? So you're going to breathe like this. Yep. Not in your chest. Let it out. Put your hand on your belly and breathe. Nope, nope. Not here. Only in your belly. Yes. Better. That's better. Yeah, that's it. So breathe in and try to sing again. Don't sip your ch chest in. Just breathe in your belly. Yes. Now sing. We're just two little girls from Little Rock. We were born on the wrong side of the tracks. We were born on the wrong side of the tracks. So you'll get more power and more clarity. Less breathiness, and it just feels easier to you. Well, that's very helpful. Now, how long did it take you to do this CD? How many months did it take you to do it? Um, this DVD took about a day and a half to film, 
um, and I, I was very lucky that my students wanted to participate as models to teach people how, how to sing. I think everybody wants to sing. Singing is just, it's fun, you know? It Who sure is. Sing? Everybody wants to sing. So. Yes, I love to sing. Even though know I'm not a trained singer, I love to sing. You have lots of personality. Yeah. So with the right technique, just even that little bit, like It can fantastic. do wonders. It can do wonders. Yeah. Tell my audience if you want to find out more information, where can we go? You can go to www.howtosingeasily.com. Com. So that should be ah, <laughs> easy to remember. How to sing easily.com. And what about you, Julia? Do you have a Facebook page? I sure do. My name is Julia Amisano and A M I S A N O. And my business is Grace Music Studio. So if you look up my name, Google it, you'll find a Facebook page, a MySpace page, a Grace Music Studio page, lots of stuff. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that wonderful so interview. Let's toast. Okay. Salute. Salute. <laughs> and if you want a lesson, come Thank back you later. so much, Julia. We'll be back in a moment with more interviews and more filmmakers right here at Gizzy's. Keep watching, darlings. Big champagne kisses. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm Cognac Willow Lane, and we are here at Gizzy's for the Valentine's Filmmakers Party, and I'm here with this gorgeous blonde. <laughs> She's gorgeous. Tell my audience, why are you here? You're here promoting a certain, a, for a good cause, of course. Absolutely. Introduce yourself, darling. My name is Stefania, Stefania Chadwick, and uh, I actually do mammograms, and I went to cosmetology school. Um, I actually do hair for cancer patients um, to make them feel good. I give them inspirational tapes, and I do their makeup. Um, I work with um, Sloan Kettering. Um, I work with Einstein, Albert Einstein Hospital, um, numerous hospitals, Montefiore, and I help women feel better and look beautiful. This is this your hair? No, it isn't. It's no. gorgeous. <laughs> well, this, this, this is this is my hair. I paid an awful lot for it, so it's my hair. <laughs> That's right, darling. It's your hair now. So what I realized is that I was wearing it just for beauty reasons, and that I can help women feel good and beautiful and, and look gorgeous and, 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 and look gorgeous and you know and your beauty can it's healing it's really healing well you're it's doing really a wonderful cause and i want you to tell my audience where we could go to find out more information about what you're working on uh what i do i do it here in the bronx uh it's at 1892 1892 east Chester road across the street from einstein hospital and i help women with hair loss alopecia and uh, cancer patients, and I have private private facility. I have the I've opened a the hair care center of New York, and I help women. And uh, this is my brochure of all ethnicities. Um, What's the website? Uh, it's uh, www.haircarecenternewyork.com. And what about you, darling? Do you have a Facebook page? <laughs> I don't have a Facebook. You don't have a. Shame, 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 shame. Tell my audience one more time the website. It's www.haircarecenternewyork.com. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us right here at Gizzy's. And the number. Can I leave the phone? Yes. Number? It's 718-484-9595. Uh, uh, Thank you. Again, right. she said one more time. Yes. It's 718, it's the Hair Care Center of New York. Look at me, look at me. Oh, Hair Care Center of New York. And it's 718-484-9595. Um, and it's also for women who just love it for glamorous reasons as well. Like me, like, like me. You. Thank you, George. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank and we'll be back in a moment with more interviews Thank right here at Pink Champagne Kisses. Fantasy dress to impress. One of a kind girl.
been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.